Virgo, what's going on? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your true intentions reading for the month of October into November. I hope all is well in the Virgolicious community. For those of you who are already part of the 8th House Energy community, welcome back. Thank you for all the various ways that you guys show your love and support on the channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you'll subscribe, you'll hit the notification bell, and you will um, you see the weekly uh, postings. This is the True Intentions read. This is a read that is uh, about whoever it is that you're thinking about. This is to find out their intentions. If this is somebody who you may have split up with and they may be coming back towards you, whether it's a family member you had a falling out with or a friend you had a falling out with or, you know, anybody, a colleague, a co-worker, a lover, <laughs> this person could be coming back towards you and maybe you want to know what their intentions are. Or maybe you want to go back towards this person. Maybe you think that, you know, things will be different and you want to know how they would treat you or what your what their intentions would be if you came back around. For some of you, this could be somebody you're dealing with right now. Maybe this person's energy has changed or you have reason to believe that you need to be concerned about what they, you know, what their intentions are for you. So this reading is for you as well. So take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? If you need a personal, my information is in the box below the video. So right now I'm just looking at the first uh, six cards that come out because this is going to tell me the energy between you two. Alright, so there we go. So the overall energy for this spread here is the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be somebody that you were friends with for a long time or someone you were in a situation with a long time. This could be somebody that you worked with for a long period of time. This could be a relative, okay? Somebody you've known since you were a kid. Um... We have the Nine of Pentacles energy here, which is Virgo. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, more Virgo energy. That's you. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right, that's Taurus energy. So all these Pentacles here for this first person. And then the Knight of Pentacles is the overall energy. So somebody could be um, working, focused on their money. They're not focused on... Um, somebody could be looking to... Get rich off of somebody else. Let's put it that way. Or somebody could see that there's a situation here where they would lose money, so they're not going to invest. They're taking their time to examine things. They're taking their time to make sure that they dot all their I's, cross all their T's. It could be somebody's coming back towards you know, this person with some type of business offer. Maybe somebody's coming back towards them homeless. They don't have money. They don't have a job. And they're coming towards this nine of pentacle energy. Um, you know, somebody could be coming asking for help or assistance. Then there's another person here with the Nine of Wands energy here. This is Sag energy. The uh, Five of Swords energy in reverse, which is Aquarius. And then the Knight of Wands, or the Ace of Wands energy in reverse. Uh, Aries energy. So, with this situation... Um, this person here, the, uh, the, uh, the second set of cards, they're blocking this person. They don't want a new beginning with this person because they know that this person is about money. The, the situation is a situation ship here. This, the situation is not going any further. So somebody feels like somebody could be about money and somebody totally is. So somebody's intuition is right on point. So somebody could be looking for financial stability, financial security. That's why they're coming back towards you. Okay, so be careful people coming back from the past. This is like a everybody is coming, everybody who's coming back right now, between now and the end of the year, maybe even longer, but these people don't want anything positive for you. These are people you've already walked away from or already ended your connections with. And they're just trying to come back because they want to maintain dominance and control over you. So they'll lie to you, tell you they changed. Some of them may even ask you to marry them. What energy was this person in the last time you were with them? Whether, whether it was last week, last month, two months ago, this person was in the energy of the world. Major arcana of Saturn. What does this person think about your connection overall? What do they think of your connection when they think of you? What does this person think of your connection when they think of you? 
Okay, we have the uh, Page of Cups energy in reverse, which is uh, Cancer energy. Okay, and what does this person feel about you deep down, whether you know it or not, whether they told you this or not? How do they feel about you deep down? The first card that came out was the Six of Wands energy in reverse. That's Leo energy. All right, that's how they feel about you deep down. The mutual energy between you two. Okay, the mutual energy between you two. Is the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. The external factors that would keep you two from working things out or that kept you from working things out in the past is the Ten of Cups energy in reverse. That is Pisces. And then six to eight weeks from now, if you tried to work things out with this person, what would this connection be like? What would this connection be like? One too many. What this con what would this connection be like if you tried to work things out with this person? We have the seven of pentacles energy in reverse. All right, that's a uh, Taurus energy. So the overall energy for this particular spread here about how this person feels about you. Now this is how they feel about you. All right, this is not me telling you. I'm just reading the cards, okay? <laughs> Don't get mad at me. We got the three of pentacles here. So this is um, Capricorn energy. So this is somebody who may want to work with you. They may want to uh, work you, <laughs> benefit from you in some way, shape, or form. This could be a work relationship or work dynamic that you have with someone. So we have the world energy, the energy they were in the last time they spoke with you. So this person is under the impression that the connection is over and that uh, things are closed between you two. Or maybe this is what they want. But that was the energy that they were in. Uh, how they feel about you overall is the Page of Cup energy in reverse. So maybe they wanted to end things with you. Okay? Especially with the Three of Pentacles energy here. So they could see you as somebody who's not interested in anything serious. They could see you as somebody who might be emotionally immature. Maybe they see you as somebody who stepped out and got a baby by someone else. But the way they feel about you deep down, whether they've told you or not, whether you know it or not, is the Six of Wands energy in reverse. The Six of Wands energy is an energy of them seeing that um, you won. They look at it as a you won. You, you, you are the one who were victorious in the situation. Or that you want a lot of attention. You Yeah, they, they see it as maybe you wanting attention. And then um, the mutual energy between you two is the Knight of Swords. Either you're not being honest with one another or, you know, the arguing or the communication is a little brash or harsh. The way you talk to each other could be very disrespectful. We have the Ten of Cup energy in reverse as the energy that would be external to you that would keep you two from working things out. Um, so I don't know if there's some family member or somebody seeing somebody else's lover. Um... But this could be that, you know, there's an ultimatum here. So it could be if you're still dealing with someone else, this person may be feeling like you got to cut that person off or you may have told that to this person. Um, or maybe it's family members that you're not going to deal with that they have. You know, maybe they they don't like your family members for whatever reason. Maybe your family members do you dirty and they're, you know, they don't like your family members, but you still are loyal to them. It could be something like that. But there's some type of external factors that are coming through here. It could be that somebody doesn't want a relationship. Six to eight weeks from now, if you two tried to work things out, we would have the seven of pentacle energy in reverse. Okay, so this means that somebody would feel like maybe they wasted time or they put effort and energy into a situation and they didn't get what they wanted out of it. Like maybe they were shortchanged or things, you know, just didn't work out, but you were willing to put in the time, energy, and effort for it to work out. So... With the overall energy being the Three of Pentacles, this is someone who's trying to work something out. And we have the Devil energy here, but this could be somebody who's afraid. All right, with the Knight of, with the King of Cups energy here, someone could be afraid to express their feelings. Um, they may be afraid to tell someone that they want a stable, committed connection with this person. Yeah, because with the Ten of Pentacles, this is what they want with this person. So the situation ended. They see you as someone who doesn't love them. Um, but they look at you as the one for them with the Six of Wands here. You're the one for them. 
um, with the Knight of Swords being a mutual energy, either you two are not talking or this person is not telling you how they feel. Um, or you guys are talking, but you're not being honest with one another. What would keep this relationship from working out if this is a relationship? It could be family dynamics, people not speaking to each other in a family dynamic. Uh, but what would keep you through from working things out is maybe you two don't love each other anymore. Or the love is not enough to get you two to work things out. Six to eight weeks from now, what would happen if you two got together? Um, it looks like somebody would feel like they've wasted their time or... You know, they put in a lot of time, energy, and effort into a situation that failed. It didn't work out. Or it won't work out. It's stagnant to move. That's why we have the Knight of Pentacles as the overall energy. It's going to take time for this to... There was some severe hurt here. Some severe betrayal. And um, like I said, I feel like there was some really bad words between you two. And so it may take people uh, some time to get over this. But uh, we're going to go to the extended and find out what's going on. So we're going to clarify each of these cards with three or four other cards to find out more. So if this resonates with you, feel free to click a like button and, and uh, make the notification or leave a message about it. If it um, doesn't resonate, don't worry. Check your other placements. And then at the end of the video, you're going to see like four other placements, four other readings uh, for the placement of Virgo that you can check out. So uh, if that didn't resonate, something else will resonate for this month. And um, the link to the extended is in the box below. Now, if you need a personal reading, my information is in that box below this video as well. All right. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will see you in the extended Virgo. If not, I'll see you in the next reading later.